as my reflection for this today on the book of Luke from verses chapter 2 verses 8 through 12 it says there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby keeping watch and watching their flocks the angel of the Lord appears to them and they are frightened the angel says do not be afraid for I have a message to give to you today in the town of David a savior has been born to you he is Christ the Lord and this is a sign to you that you will find the baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Um, as my reflection onto this story, uh, I would see Jesus' birth as a humbling one. This message is only meant of Jesus. Was it of a man of high riches? No. Was it a man of high reputation? No. Was it of a king who conquered? No. Instead, of, it was a boy born in a manger in a little food box. And this has come as a message to know that um, the Lord has come to accept us for who we are. He don't care whether we broke, whether we rich. He doesn't care whether we're living a good life or a bad life. But he wants us to come to accept us as who he is. <clears throat> His son, son of God. As I will kind of read into the story, I will kind of see that as his life was a humbling one. In the book of Mark, it was said that Jesus has sent two of his disciples to fetch a donkey, and he rode down to Jerusalem. I will kind of see that as a very humbling experience for him, because, well, as we would know, most people see prophets as a king. They will see most prophets as a man of high rep. They will see a man of a prophet who is rich, but no. Instead, the Lord accepts us for who we are. He doesn't really know. He doesn't really care whether he doesn't care whether you have everything you want in life, but this is a message that the Lord has come to give us what we needed, and that was Christ. All right, there was nobody else before him. We had prophets before that, but Jesus was our Savior. All right, and He's carried out that message for us. Um, my reflection of this is. The life should be a humbling experience, and that's what Jesus has lived. He has given us that thought to accept him for who he is. Right? And we still have time. Right? Uh, as of my message, uh, this has been just a cut. This has just been a short one for me, so thank you all for taking the time to listen to me. Thank you.